Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick update on the LSA build. I've got all the um, pulleys and accessory pulleys on and brackets to test fit the belt and drive system for the blower. Uh, I can't put uh, the inner belt on yet because I don't have the alternator and AC here. So uh, right now it's just test fitting the blower belt. So uh, here's the setup, um, 2.65 uh, upper. Um, the stock tensioner, uh, do have the DX tuning bracket to relocate these two, um, pulleys here to give room for the 9.17 Lingenfelter, uh, lower. Um, that ratio should put me at the maximum RPM that the blower and the pulleys can actually it's the the pulleys are really the these idlers are the bearings that I think you really cap out RPMs at uh, you have to watch out or you'll uh, uh, Overstress them I think is what I've heard so but anyway, I think I've got it right at the max if I at, at the at the very uh, minimum I may have to cap it uh, at 6500 RPM which with a blower, I probably would not go much over that anyway. Um, so anyway, uh, of course, the Gator Belt, uh, that's the 67.5 inch. And that worked out perfect. I had, um, you know, it was real tight to go on, just trying to get it over the edge with the tension all the way on. Of course, you know, brand new belt. Uh, instead, what I did is I took the pulley off, which this is a left-hand thread, by the way. Uh, with the tension on, I was able to, with that belt seated into the grooves i was able to easily get that boat in there and screw it in by hand while i was holding that on that was a whole lot easier than trying to put it over the edge um and then uh that'll you know so it's basically using most of the tensioner uh stroke right now but with that brand new belt but once it starts up and runs for a while it'll stretch a little bit and you still have plenty of tensioner to take up anyway that's where we are now